Recent achievements in large language models, however, or LLMs, a type of AI technology, have made it much easier for machines to understand you. The popularity of LLM chatbots over the past years has shown that the natural language-based experience is the path forward. However, where these assistants struggle is still getting things done. The video features Jesse, the CEO of Rabbit, introducing their revolutionary products. A new AI model called the Large Action Model, LAM, and the Rabbit R1, a groundbreaking consumer mobile device powered by this model. The captivating assistant aims to revolutionize pocket gadgets, presenting a device akin to a smartphone, yet enhanced with an intuitive, AI-powered interface. The Rabbit R1 claims to learn how to use apps on your behalf, which the company hopes will make it a superior personal assistant than your phone. It doesn't run apps, but it can connect to your apps. The concept of large action models, LAM, as used in the Rabbit R1, builds upon the foundational idea of action model learning in AI. Let's delve into what action model learning is and then extend that understanding to LAM. Action model learning in AI involves a system learning how to perform tasks by observing others, humans or AI agents. This approach mimics how humans often learn by watching and imitating. Unlike traditional programming, where specific instructions are coded for each task, action model learning allows a system to derive how to accomplish tasks without being explicitly programmed for each step. This method has seen use in various fields, in gaming, AI systems learn complex strategies in games like Go. In robotics, it enables robots to learn new tasks by watching human demonstrations, making them more adaptable and efficient. There are a few common methods for learning action models in AI. One popular method is called Q-learning, which is a model-free reinforcement learning algorithm. Q-learning is often used to solve problems with Markov decision processes because it can handle stochastic environments and is effective in situations where the state and action spaces are discrete. Action model, or LAM, as we call it. It is a new foundational model that understands and executes human intentions on computers, driven by our research in neural symbolic systems. With a large action model, we fundamentally find a solution to the challenges that apps APIs or agents face. We solve it with interfaces. LAM can learn any interfaces from any software, regardless of which platform they're running on. In short, the large language model understands what you say, but the large action model gets things done. We use LAM to bring AI from words. A large action model, or as we call it, LAM, is a new foundation model that understands human intentions on computers. Through it, we can teach Rabbit OS how to use specific applications. In this video, I'm teaching a rabbit how to book an Airbnb. While I'm operating normally as a human on the left screen, watch closely on the right as the large action model is learning all my inputs and imitating my behavior in real time. So I'm trying to plan a trip to Barcelona with my wife and my daughter. The first thing I'm going to do is navigate to the Anywhere option, and I'm going to type Barcelona in the search field. The system is suggesting Barcelona, Spain, which is exactly where we want to go. Using the website's calendar tool, I'm going to mark our check-in on the 15th and check out on the 21st. Now I'll click Add Guests and adjust the members accordingly. Now let's hit the search button and see what pops up. Since we love the beach, let's make sure to select the beachfront option. And for a more private experience, I'm going to select entire home so we have the whole place for ourselves. For the budget, I'll set a maximum at 400,000 won and a minimum of 100,000 so that all the options are within our price range. We're going to need at least two bedrooms to make sure we all have our own space. Finally, with all of our preferences set, we've got plenty of options that fit the bill. I'll just start browsing for the perfect one. Each training only takes a few minutes and does not require access to an application programming interface, also known as an API, nor do you need anything installed on your device. You only need to train each workflow once. Let's try to use RabbitOS and instead book a room in London. My extended family is going to London. 
It's going to be eight of us and four kids. We're thinking of December 30th to January 5th. It's not set in stone yet, so I just want some general options. Can you look it up for me? Sure, I can help you with that. The first option is a home in Portobello Muse House, priced at 1,348,351 won per night with a rating of 4.8. The large Ashton model supports mobile apps, web apps, and professional desktop apps. It learns directly on the user interfaces and acts on them. We have already started the training process for the most popular apps. As you're watching this video, Rabbit OS is learning fast and adapting to hundreds of applications. The ultimate goal of Rabbit is to define the first natural language operating system that replaces apps on your device. It's time for the machines to do some serious homework. With the R1, Rabbit is taking on an ambitious goal by trying to carve out a place for a new gadget in our lives in a world that's already overrun with screens and sensors. As we've seen today, the possibilities are almost limitless. Whether it's revolutionizing industries, enhancing creative processes, or even changing the way we interact with digital content, large action models are at the forefront of this new era. I hope this video has given you a fascinating glimpse into this cutting-edge technology. If you have any thoughts, questions, or experiences with large action models, I'd love to hear about them in the comments below.